I'm so excited to show you one of my favorite desserts that I have in the Love a Kamut cookbook. It's the pecan bars. And I have had many, many pecan bars, and I'm telling you, this one wins. And it's just easier than making pie. We're going to now make the crust. This is so simple and easy. I love to do it in my KitchenAid or your handheld mixer. Normally, I mix everything with our dough hook. You know this but it does need to mix pretty well. So what we're gonna do, we get the flour. We're gonna start with the kamut flour. You wanna sift and always make it light and airy before you ever add your flour. So you sift it and then you shake your cup. So we're adding one and three fourths cup kamut. Then we're going to add a half a cup of powdered sugar. Don't go on the cheap brand, brand with um, powdered sugar. It's gotta be the good, okay? There's a difference. Ingredients, it matters. It will change the taste of everything that you do. So then we've got two sticks of butter softened. Just let it sit out, get to room temp, and then we're just gonna mix. This is it. This is all you have for your crust. But I'll show you the texture. It will take a second for it to come together, but it will. A lot of people get nervous with this recipe. I'm always thinking about the DMs that come in when I'm normally cooking, but I will show you. It will slowly come together and I'll show you the right texture of the crust. I'm just gonna turn it up. Okay, it's getting there. This is why you don't wanna mix the crust with the dough hook. It takes a minute. A lot of people are then like, oh no, it's dry, it didn't work. But no, it slowly comes together. That's why you've gotta use the KitchenAid or the handheld mixer. And we're almost there. Every time I start making a recipe, my mouth already starts watering. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna want this. Get in my belly. I didn't wanna turn up the speed too high to get it going everywhere. But look, we're coming together. Oh yeah, it's looking like perfection. Okay. We're done. See, it turned into like a sugar cookie crust, okay? But look at that. You don't think it's gonna turn out and you get nervous, but looky, looky, it's the most delicious crust of your life. So what we do, we take our nine by 13 that I've already greased really well. You gotta make sure because if you don't, it's gonna stick. So look at that dough. It's amazing, it's beautiful. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna just push it out into your nine by 13, and you just want this layer that just evenly gets to your whole pan, okay? So you just wanna push it out. Just make sure you get it at all the edges. So look, our crust is done. It's perfect. Now we gotta make the filling on top. All right, let's now make this delicious filling very simple, come on, look how easy this is. So you've got one third cup of butter. You want it softened. We're just gonna do this with the dough hook. And you don't need to get crazy about the butter if it doesn't totally incorporate, I'll show you, because it will melt, right? Once we put it in the oven, it, it melts anyway, so it's good. So we've got a third a cup of butter. We're gonna add our eggs. Look at my beautiful fresh farm eggs. It's like, it's like an Easter egg every day. I mean, the colors are always changing and they're so fun, and they're so organic <laughs> and fresh. So we're gonna add three eggs, right? I mean, I don't have these you know, recipes memorized. Okay, so we've got three eggs. Then we're going to add our carol syrup, one cup, just like that. Then you've got your brown sugar, and we're just gonna start mixing all of this up. And like I said, my butter could have been a little bit softer, but it's gonna be okay. It's gonna mix and it's gonna melt once it's in the oven. And then we're gonna add our pecans. I like to already buy the chopped pecans, but if you wanna chop them yourself, that's fine. Okay, my butter really should have been a little bit softer, but like I said, it's okay. This is very hard to ruin my recipes. It really is. Now we're going to add, it was one cup of chopped pecans. Boop. Add in, mix it up. Now we're adding the vanilla. Whoop. Really, you can never add too much vanilla. I always like to kind of let it overflow. <laughs> oh, now we gotta add the French salt, of course, because you can't do anything without this French salt. 
It just adds. It's only about an eighth of a teaspoon I tell you to do, but you know what? Sometimes I like to add a little more salt too, because it just, oh, the flavor. And that is it. That is literally it. So now we take and we pour on top of our crust. Ooh, baby, so yummy. I should now get like a, you guys always get bugged at me when I don't have a, you know, scraper, like a rubber spatula. Let me go get one so I get every last drip. But like I said, see how the butter, it's okay. It's okay that it wasn't too soft. I'm not kidding. Wait till we bake these and you see how yummy they are. Oh, they're mind blowing. They're so good. We preheat the oven already to 350. I like to bake everything on convection in my oven, but it's at 350. We're gonna put it in the oven and it's gonna bake for one hour. But like I said, this is very important that I'm gonna be telling you all the time, please do not overbake, please, because they're not gonna be good. They're gonna be dry, so I'll show you. I'll show you when you know the pecans are done. <laughs> now we wait. This is the hardest part because you can smell it. I can already like pre-taste it. So we're just gonna sit and wait for these pecan bars. I don't know, what are we gonna do? It's like, I have so much energy, I'm ready to make something else legit. Even if I was just at home doing nothing, I would be like, okay, let's. what's the next thing? How many things can we bake today? That's seriously how I feel all the time. It's a problem. It's a problem. Oh, I can't take it. Are they almost done? Oh, they're not. See, they're jiggly still. That's what you don't want. So they need to keep going. If you know me, I really am like the most impatient person. I can't take it. When it's in the oven, I'm watching like a hawk. Get in my belly already. Get in my belly. Okay, see? It's not doing the jiggle anymore. So you know that they're done because pecan bars, look how dark that is. You can think, oh no, I overbaked them, but you didn't. So then just let them out and they'll continue to bake just like a cookie. And now I gotta sit and wait for it to cool yet again. I didn't just steal a bite. <laughs> I can't resist. I'm like, okay, I've waited long enough. I'm ready to eat this. Look how yummy. These are so good. And do you know that any of these freeze amazing too? So if you wanted to make this recipe in advance and cut them up into bars, put them in the baggies and freeze it, it's perfect. So let's now dig in. Okay, I don't know. I always talk about portion control, but it's pretty hard when I want to eat the whole pan of pecan bars. So we're just going to cut them up. But look at this. Baked to perfection. Okay. Okay. Hello. I wish you guys could have a bite of this. But you can't, so. I got to eat more for me. Mmm. I, I don't even know how to say it. They're soft, they're gooey, the crust. Mm, let's just take a moment for this. It's so good. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you loved it. Keep cooking. As I say, your family is worth it. Love you guys. Mm. Go make this right now. Hey, camera guy, you want me to feed you?